What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. Tonight, we're going to look at the Bitcoin price um, uh, immediately in the charts. Uh, we have this resistance line that was support for a minute, and it's still testing this right here. We did kind of fall below it a little bit here. This is the... Um, $34,750 level. We're only a couple hundred dollars below that right now. Um, we're sitting at $34,116. Um, I am seeing an actual head and shoulders pattern right now in the chart. Uh, let's get this out of here from the last videos. And I mean... That was sloppy. And right there. So that's a head and shoulders pattern. And we're going to see if it. will break out because we do have support right here. So if we break above this neckline right here, if we can break above this right here, which is basically our resistance. Isn't that crazy? If we can break above resistance, then we can um, play this head and shoulders pattern out for the upside and we won't end up losing and going back down. Now, if it breaks the neckline, now actually that isn't really the neckline. That's a little high for the neckline. The neckline actually should be right here. So, yeah, actually where this one is. So this is actually the neckline, maybe a little higher uh, than this. Not where it was, but yeah, I think maybe like right here is the neckline. And if we can break above where we're at right now at 34,116, and we can get back up maybe to this level right here and actually have a nice breakout of the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern, then we will continue... Um, wow, that would be a, let me look into this because I actually don't know how high a head and shoulders pattern that breaks to the upside is. If a head and shoulders pattern breaks to the upside, how high does it go? Oh, no, it's saying it's a trend reversal pattern. Um, but sometimes let's see if it breaks to the upside. Um, it says they're accurate 85% of the time. Two swing highs, the shoulders with a higher high, the head between them. So that's this here, the higher high and the swing highs right here. That's a swing high. That's why I kind of did both of them. You could pick one of them, probably the closer one, but I kind of did two because there's two peaks right there, like an M almost. But this could be bad. This could mean we're having a trend reversal. Um, it's an 85% you know, completion rate, so that's not good. Um, that means the Bitcoin price could drop. Ooh, this was a good one. The head and shoulders is one of a group of patterns typically considered trend reversal chart patterns, like I said before. If you look closely, though, the head and shoulders can also act as a continuation pattern. Now, guys, where, the reason that I think that this might be a continuation pattern, and even in one of my videos I did at the very beginning of my uh, YouTube um, experience, I should say, um, 
I predicted a head and shoulders pattern that broke to the upside. And I didn't even really know about technical analysis at that time. Um, I didn't even really know anything. And so the reason that I think that this could possibly go up and not be a reversal uh, bullish to bearish, meaning the price will go down, is for this reason. Because in my last video, I did, um, well, not the last one, but one of my last videos um, popping up here. I did a few price predictions with Bitcoin. And each time I showed you an ascending triangle. And now with the ascending triangle, it had a price prediction of a few, like a thousand to fifteen hundred. Um, and it played out and then it played out again. So we had two successful right here, one here and one here. And they both broke out to the upside, as you see. And I predicted that. And I said exactly as predicted, made the video. So the reason that I think the head and shoulders pattern is going to continue upward, because we just had two continuation patterns. Now, this could be a trend reversal because the price has fallen. But look, it looks like we're starting to recover right here. This isn't a for sure recovery. This is not a breakout. But this is a possibility that we're going to break the neckline. And once we break the neckline, then it's going to turn this head and shoulders into a continuation pattern instead of a uh, bullish to bearish reversal and the price of Bitcoin going down. So I just really wanted to show you guys that I'm learning something new today. You're learning something. Um, we're all learning stuff and we're making money hopefully together or at least, um, you know, learning how to make money together. So I am going to look at the Ethereum charts real quick because Ethereum has been breaking out. Um, we just had a nice breakout above 2200. <gasps> long day. Uh, so it looks like we had an ascending broadening wedge right here and it actually did go up. And then we kind of had, you know, some consolidation over here and it looks like we had kind of a W and a break to the upside. But let's kind of look at what's happening right now. Um, we have a clear support line here. Um, I mean, it's that is a support line for sure. Um, let's see here. Um, this could be good news. It could turn into an ascending broadening wedge, but we'll see. That looks like a W too. So an ascending broadening wedge, the W looks like it already broke out, but I think if the Bitcoin price goes up, we are going to have a giant uh, you know, boost in Ethereum as well. Um, that'd be pretty cool if it did. I don't have a lot that I see here. Um, no big actual, you know, um, for sure patterns. Just this kind of W right here and a possible ascending broadening wedge. But we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on the uh, Ethereum chart. And all right, guys. Well, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bet.